I'm Alex Berger, and I'm on the pro side of stem cell research. The study of stem cells from all sources should be allowed to continue because it has a great promise for healing many diseases. Think about this. In 2004, 58 million people died from cardiovascular diseases, 30 million died from AIDS, 16 million from diabetes, 10 million from osteoporosis, 8.5 million from cancer, and 4.5 million from Alzheimer's. At least 18 people a day die from not getting an organ transplant in time. Stem cells can change all of this. Stem cells are the building blocks for all life. They're basically a generic cell that can become many other cells, like a liver, or brain, or heart cell. Although there are many types of stem cells, there are two main groups, embryonics and adults. The first type of stem cells, embryonic cells, are the most useful, but also the most controversial. Embryonic cells are pluripotent, which means they can become any other cell in the body. Scientists believe that they can coax these cells to become a liver cell and use that one liver cell to grow into a bunch of liver cells that can be used in, to grow an entire liver, which can grow into a person that needs a liver transplant. This could save a person's life when they get one in time. My opponents may tell you that to get the embryonic stem cells, you have to destroy the fetus to get the cells. However, there are many other methods to get these embryonic cells. Thousands of embryos are thrown away in that vitro fertilization clinics each year when they're declared biologically dead. These unwanted embryos can be used as a source for s stem cells, and since they're already dead, you can't go with the problem of killing them. You can also get these cells from umbilical cord blood, bone marrow, and amniotic fluid. The second type of stem cell is an adult stem cell. The term adult is misleading because these cells are already partially differentiated. For example, an adult stem cell can only become specific type of cells, like instead of being every single cell in the body, they can only be a liver cell, or skin stem cells can only become liver cells, and like that. For, however, these cells can have none of the ethical issues of adult stem cells. You can take these cells from your own body and use it to regrow your, your own muscles and state tissues. Since they are your own cells, there is no problem with immune rejection, which is where your body's immune system targets foreign body cells, attacks them, and destroys them. Your own adult stem cells may also be less likely to develop cancerous tumors, and there's an ample supply of adult stem cells in your own body. If you think that this method of using adult stem cells is far-fetched and difficult to use, listen to this. Claudia Castello was a 30-year-old woman living in Barcelona with a severe case of tuberculosis. Her windpipe was so inflamed that she could barely breathe, and talking to family and friends was out of the question. Doctors took stem cells from Claudia's nose and seeded them into a donated windpipe. They then grew the windpipe and transplanted it into Claudia. Six months on, she's experiencing no ill side effects, as in this great health. This operation had to take place in Spain only place in the world where stem cell operations are legal. Some people think that since they're pro-life, they also have to be anti-stem cell research. However, Bill Frist, a senator from Colorado, showed that it's possible to embrace new research while maintaining his moral and religious values. He says, I am pro-life. I believe human life begins at conception. I also believe that embryonic stem cell research should be encouraged and supported. This shows that stem cell research will have a positive impact on us. It needs to move forward. Once again, I'm on the pro side of stem cell research, and I compel you to side with me. The sources that I used in this debate were Wired Magazine, Time Magazine, FascinatingStarNews.com, MedTerms.com, and Greenhaven Press. All the sources I used were between 2004 and 2008. Thank you.